Hello my divine kings and queens, I'm back to do another video and today's message what we're going to be going over is God is saying that you're about to have your Cinderella moment. Now I know that a lot of you guys have been hearing this and it's been floating around but the thing is how I'm about to break this down, this is not gender specific. For my men, you guys are about to have your moment to shine. And for my women, you already know, you take the message how it applies, that you all are about to have your Cinderella moment. Now, we take time to reflect what happened in that movie. We know that Cinderella was the underdog. We know that she was betrayed and that she um, pretty much was a slave uh, to a toxic home environment, right? Um, and we know that she had to deal with this at the hands of her evil stepmother and then the stepsisters, right? So when we look at how Cinderella was treated and we look at how she was able to connect to nature and connect to the animals, the animals took a liking to Cinderella because of her spirit. Cinderella was pure at heart. Do you understand what I'm saying? And even though everything through everything that she went through and how the evil stepmother even tried to break her spirit to try to make it seem like the stepsisters was better than her when in all actuality cinderella was they, they weren't on cinderella's level they couldn't even scratch the surface right cinderella was prettier she was smarter but she was humble do you understand what i'm saying so she had to endure this hatred and this anger that they had for her. And she was so loving. I mean, a person like that, you, I mean, growing up as a kid, you just like, oh, Cinderella, Cinderella. But when you actually take the time to try to understand, you're like, why was she treated like that? Why did she have to go through that? She didn't hate nobody. She didn't mean nobody no harm. She still yet chose to work for them. She ain't talk back to them. She did everything they told her to do. She didn't rise up at him, but yet she still had to endure this type of pain and anger, anger uh, and life that she just didn't deserve. She deserved better. Um, she didn't deserve the type of treatment that was dished out to her. Um, and so the thing is what I take from that movie, the fairy godmother was to Cinderella what God and the heavenly angels are to you. And the reason why I say that you all are about to have your Cinderella moment is because God saw how everyone that was surrounded around you had no reason to hate you. You didn't deserve a lot of the treatment that was dished out to you, but the way that you chose to handle it is the reason why you're being blessed the way that you're being blessed. There are a lot of people who was surrounded around you, who did not like your spirit. They projected their own deep-rooted insecurities off on you. And a lot of you guys ain't gonna understand, uh, well, why stay around me if they didn't like me, why? A lot of people ain't gonna tell you that your your energy, like I said, is, energy is potent. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's, it's addictive, you get what I'm saying? Especially if you're pure of heart, and you have a high vibrational energy about you that other people may not possess. So it's like they will drain you and deplete you, but you are pretty much replenishing these people and filling these people up with your lighthearted energy and they like that, but they know that they are incapable of giving you that same type of energy back. So they hate you. And it's, it's almost as if it's like what they want to say to you is, I don't know why I don't like you. I hate you because of how you look. I hate you because of how you shape. I hate you, you know, the way that God is blessing you. I don't like how everything you put your mind to or what you touch, it turns to gold. And I have to work so hard. I don't like how things just come to you. I don't like how nice you are. Why you keep being nice when I keep treating you like this? Why you keep coming back trying to love me and do for me when I don't do the same to you? I don't like that. But I ain't going to tell you that because I actually like your energy. And I know you never gave me a reason for me to feel this type of way towards you. So I'm going to just hide how I truly feel about you. It's, it's almost as if that's how people, these are the type of people that was around you. They was very weird, very evil, very conniving, very treacherous. 
But at the same time, the reason why God is sitting these people down and making them look at everything that he's done for you, the same that, that, that stepmother and them stepsisters still yet try to take that moment away from Cinderella. But who was helping Cinderella ensure that she was able to go down there and make sure that the Duke was able to put that slipper on her shoe, on her foot? So that they would determine that she was the one that the prince was looking for. See how God orchestrates everything to work in your life. He orchestrated a blessing out of every lesson. He orchestrated a blessing to come out of people ridiculing you, discriminating you, isolating you, betraying you, going up against you, lying on you, mocking you, laughing at you, looking down their nose at you like you were nothing, like you were beneath them. But in all actuality, baby, you were everything. You're everything and then some. Do you understand what I'm saying? You just weren't in a position to understand who you are and your power. But you have to understand it now because the way that God is setting things up for everybody to see, even for you to see why these people went up against you. It's like, look at who you are. Look how, you know, Cinderella, Cinderella is just everything. She's everything. She's beautiful. She sings. She's humble. She's loving. She's nurturing. You have people who will hate you because they don't possess these same type of characteristics and traits about themselves. Do you understand what I'm saying? They hate themselves. So then they turn around and they choose to hate you and go up against you. And see, there were a lot of older people like that stepmother, that stepmother who condoned the foolishness. You get what I'm saying? The way that they ripped her dress when she took the time to make that dress and asked them politely. Let me tell you something. If you had me slaving on them, on them floors and cooking your meals and doing all this, I should not have to ask permission to go to a ball. It was people who was around you who was controlling you because they felt like as long as you didn't know their power, that they could treat you the way that they was treating you. But the second God told you to step up out of that and he revealed to you who you were, it was like you don't longer have to ask permission, but you were still humble. You no longer have to sit up here and be ashamed of who you are because you realize that you're special and everybody is not you. They didn't have to do it like that. But see, a lot of you guys, the reason why they did it is because he was trying to break her spirit. So it was a lot of you, like I said, she had to scrub them floors, slaving in that house, not, longer, not knowing how many nights and days she was going to have to keep doing this. So a lot of you guys, before, before she got her blessing in her moment, she had to put in that work. I'm saying something. She had to put in that work. And not knowing... How many days and nights she was going to keep having to slave and suffer like that. But let me tell you something. She didn't give up hope. She didn't give up hope. In the same way, like I said, that Cinderella was able to make that connection to those animals. You made that connection with God. And that's what they weren't hopeful of. And at the end of the day, what God is trying to show people, no matter how many times they go up against you. People waged war on you, not even knowing you was a child of God. This is why I say, stop thinking you know people. By the way, just, just, just stop assuming. Until you get a chance to really talk to a person and really listen to what they're saying. I'm talking about really dissect and analyze what a person is saying. Really get a chance to be around this person and feel out and sense out their energy. And even then, still pray and ask God for clarity. Because let me tell you something. People assumed and they made up out of themselves. I'm not going to say it, but like I said, they assumed wrong. They thought wrong. They was on the wrong team. And because they waged war up against you, not even knowing that you was a child of God. And God sat all of them down. Like I said, I never seen Cinderella's spirit be broken in that movie until they ripped that girl dress. They didn't have to do it like that. But like I said, just like the fairy mother, the, the fairy godmother came in and told her uh, at the stroke of twelve, right, and fixed her up and did all of this. Like I said, God is orchestrating blessings and people to be in your life for you to be in certain places at the right time. Even though that was a temporary moment for her, look at what it led to. So God is placing you in, in temporary. Like I said. What he's bringing to you is not everything that he has in store for you. It's a temporary moment, a temporary cycle that he has you in that is going to prepare you for the next level of your life. And like I said, 
God still made a way for Cinderella to show up and have her moment. And now it got to the point where it was like the prince was trying to find her. She was just so dutiful and so obedient. You know what I'm saying? She was like, okay, I got to be back. Oh, you know, she didn't, she wasn't big headed. And because of that, because of that, she still got a chance at true love and getting her Prince Charming. That Prince was relentless and didn't stop until he found the woman of his dreams. The woman that touched his heart, it's, it's energy. Do you understand what I'm saying? Someone in some type of capacity or level is watching you, that's admiring you, they want you, they're not telling you how much they love you. But let me tell you something, you about to have your moment, be it in career, in love, in life, and let me tell you something, job well done, because it's des you deserve it. You know why I'm about to tell you deserve it, why I'm about to tell you this, let me tell you something. When your enemies turned up that heat, you didn't leave. You got down on your knees and you didn't get up you got down on your knees and you didn't give up. You got down on your knees and you didn't get up until God gave you a sign. I just said something. When your enemies turned up that heat, trying to break your spirit, you was around all that evil and they thought it was funny. They wanted to destroy you and break you because they knew that you was better. Wake up and realize who you are. Wake up and realize who you are. But when they turned up that heat, they didn't expect you to get down on your knees. They didn't expect you to stay down there for as long as you did and not get up until God gave you a sign. And baby, when you rose, it was just no stopping you. When you rose, it was no more delaying you. When you rose, it was no more sabotaging and plotting to go up against you. You either get on this train or you get left behind. And that's on period point blank. I'm trying to tell you something right now. They tried to break you. But you ended up shocking a lot of people. Even though people may not respect you and even though they may not like you because of who you are, when you realize who you are, you'll, you'll wake up and it won't even bother you. Sticks and stones can break your bones, but words should never hurt you. They bounce up, up off of you. Why? Because you built this spiritual armor and barrier around you, my God. That spiritual armor and barrier was your prayer life. You didn't get up off your knees you didn't get up off your knees. Do you understand what I'm saying? They kept turning up that heat. They kept trying to overcome you, be overbearing. Do you understand what I'm saying? They were relentless, but you didn't get up. You didn't give up until God gave you a sign. And your moment is here. Your Cinderella moment is here. Your moment is here. Embrace it. Embrace it. Embrace it because you earned it. Like I said, um, I want y'all to check out this song by Robbie Williams. Uh, it's called Angels. And it just resonate and tie in with this message that I'm giving y'all today. It ties in so well because it's like God's message to you to let you know that through it all, he's not going to forsake you or leave you or place you in a position where you don't win. Just like he did, like I said, with Snow White, just like he did with Cinderella, just like he did with Joseph. He made these turn these people into prominent figures. Do you understand what I'm saying? When they were sold into slavery, when they was betrayed and silenced, when they when they were, were made out to 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 be workers, when they came from a royal bloodline, these people were not on your level. 
but they boosted some type of ego that they had that, that made them come at you the way that they did to look down their nose at you. But deep down, they knew. <laughs> deep down, they knew. Even if they was looking down their nose at you, even if they tried to act like they weren't seeing you, they saw you. Your energy, like I said, your energy, your energy, your energy, your energy. People feel that. No matter how many times people try to be in denial or try to overlook you, they know who you are at the end of the day. So no matter how many times they go up against you, they realize now waging war up against you is not a good idea. It's, it's actually a very bad, bad, bad idea. Cause through it all, he offers you protection, a lot of love and affection, whether you're right or wrong. For good or for bad, whether you're doing right, whether you're doing wrong, God is not going to hold over your head the things that you have done when you were lost, the things that you were doing when you were trying to find yourself because before we can grow before we can mature before we can elevate at some point in time we had to be lost at some point in time we had to make mistakes <laughs> through it all he offers you protection, a lot of love and affection, whether you're right or wrong. And down the waterfall, wherever it may take you, you know that life won't break you when you come to call. God won't forsake you. Because he loves you. I want you to understand that and I want you to believe that. Do you understand what I'm saying? He will never forsake you. He will never leave you. Stay pure. Stay humble. It's good people that's left in this world. Don't let the evil ones get you so down to the point where you think about giving up on life. Yes, you was working hard. You wasn't able to see the fruits of your labor. You didn't know how many nights and days you was going to have to slave, living pillow to post, check to check, living just to pay bills, living just to get by. God is about to give you access, unlimited access, unlimited wealth. It's about to be an increase in influx in your life. You are about to have your Cinderella moment. I don't care how many times you have to play this. I don't care what you think about me. I speak the truth. That's confirmation right there. I'm looking you dead in your eye and I'm telling you what I know. Look me in my eye. Look me in my eyes. I don't tell no lies. I know that you almost lost hope. I know that it got tough. But I'm giving you the recipe right now. God gave you the foundation. All you got to do is take it and run with it. Ride that wave. Go with the spiritual flow and watch what he do for your life. Just watch what he do. You ain't got to worry no more. Evil would never prevail over what's good, over what's just. He don't care about what's right or wrong. He care about bringing justice to those of whom he loves, his children, and carrying out his purpose. Stay on your path. Because it's your moment. If you're not already experiencing this moment these are ongoing blessings that are about to happen for you that's what i mean by this moment this phase this cycle that you're in you've passed those tests you've dealt with the treachery with the bullying with the hurt it's your time 
through it all God offers you protection A lot of love and affection Whether you're right or wrong You don't think people look at me as a sinner? You don't think people look at me and laugh at me about what I'm doing, talking about God all of a sudden when they know that they used to go to high school with me and know how I used to roll, when they probably know me from grade school, probably know me from the community. You don't think people look at me and laugh at what I'm doing or try to call me a false prophet, but see the thing is, I never did this seeking a title. I never did it to seek a title. I did it to try to affect change in people's lives and knowing what I went through so people could miss me with it. Do you understand what I'm saying? It took me a while to have to speak like this, to get like this. But sometimes when you just go through so much hell and no matter how many times you try to love for people, do for people, and they keep coming with this, with these, you know, hidden agendas, with this hidden jealousy and envy that they have for you. And then it all pops out when God take you away from them. And take you about these situations and they, he elevates you and uproots you and uplifts you to the next level of your life. It can't even be happy for you. And that's when the real them come out. But let me tell you something. No matter how many times people try to go against you. No matter how many times they talk about you. Let me tell you something. You inspiring people. You inspiring a mass. Listen. You are inspiring the masses. I don't care if it's through the way that you raise your children. I don't care if it's in the way that you live your life. Let me tell you something. It don't matter about age because age ain't nothing but a number. Whoever you are and whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Don't listen to what people say. Sticks and stones may break your word. Sticks and stones may break your bones, but the words should never affect you, should never hurt you, should never detour you or get you down because they just words, sweetheart. And they come from a group of unhealed unmotivated group of people who are very low vibrational. They don't know themselves. That's why I tell you don't let these people get to you. Because these all these people thought, you thought at one point in time that they was high and mighty and better than you just because how they treated you. But you realize how weak, childish, and frail they truly are. When God shows you what your, who you were and you stepped into your power, you realize no they was actually doing this because they realized who you were and they, and they knew. They knew. But see, the thing is, get around a group of people, man, who don't care what you got going on. I don't care if you're doing it on, a level, on another level than them. I don't care if y'all are on the same level. Hey, I'm proud of you. Hey, I'm proud of you too. Hey, keep doing what you're doing. Hey, you keep doing it too. Get around those type of people. Do you understand what I'm saying? God going to bring them in your life. Trust me, you ain't gonna be alone. You never alone. You're not gonna hurt no more. You're not gonna lack. What I need you to do, I just need you to be positive. Start being your own positive reinforcement. You don't need nobody to give you no clap on the back. You don't need nobody to give you no stamp of approval of God giving it to you. You don't need nobody to walk with you if the angels are with you. Cause through it all, he offers you protection, a lot of love and affection, whether you're right or wrong. And down the waterfall, wherever it may take you, he won't let it break you. When you come to call, he won't forsake you because he loves you. And I love you too. And until next time, I want you to stay prayed up and be blessed. And I want y'all to email me and tell me what y'all Cinderella moment is because I'm feeling a lot of y'all are going through it right now. Or you've seen it sounds it's about to manifest in your life. So let's talk about it. Stay prayed up and be blessed. I love you.